So we have um, an algebraic expression to be simplified. This problem is not difficult, but it is important because there is a common mistake that we should avoid, and that is distributing the negative sign into the complete square. That cannot be done because outside, that is a negative one, but once it's inside, it's a negative one times negative one. We don't have two negative one multipliers, we just have the one. So it would be an error to say this is the same as the square of negative 5x plus 1. Just as an example, this is negative 1 times the square of 6. This is the square of negative 6. This is positive. This is negative. So let's not do that. Instead, let's just apply regular order of operations, which means we square first, then we multiply by negative 1. Now we can distribute the negative sign, but it only would go into just one of them. However, complete squares are easier to expand, so I would just wait. Let's just spoil this. 5x times 5x is 25x squared. 5x times negative 1 is minus 5x. Negative 1 times 5x is another minus 5x. And negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1. Then we can combine like terms. In case of a complete square, O and I from FOIL, are identical, so they double up. So we have the opposite of 25x squared minus 10x plus 1. And now we're going to distribute the negative one. So that means that all three of these signs will change. We will have negative 25x squared plus 10x minus 1. Thank you for watching.